Okay, y'all, so what we're doing right now, um, we're literally just getting started on these eyebrows, okay? So what I'm about to do is go over with a little bit of a spoolie, kind of mess with the eyebrows. Totally forgot to wrap my hair up, so I'm wrapping up my edges to kind of move that out the way and really focus on my makeup. So you see me clipping and moving that stuff. Okay, now let's get back to these eyebrows. So I'm using chocolate. Um, it's just a four eyebrow pencil to go ahead and outline and fill in the eyebrow. Um, as you see, um, I'm going over it, constantly going over it. You're going to see me go over this a few different times. I don't know how to edit that out. So, <laughs> But <laughs> hopefully with time, we'll get way better at that, right? Okay. So, yeah, now I'm using my concealer. I'm going in with the concealer. I'm using my MAC uh, concealer. Okay, well, before I do that, we're definitely going to go ahead and clean the face. Um, I totally forgot to put my primer on, which is by Fenty. It's fucking amazing primer, okay, y'all? The primer is so freaking good, like, seriously. And it's one of those primers that you don't have to use a lot. Just a little bit goes a long way. And you definitely want to use a primer just so, you know, you have that base between your face and uh, the makeup. Okay, now you see me going back using my concealer. Um, I'm using the MAC, um, what is it? It's a MAC concealer palette. I think mine is NW30, something like that. Um, it's a really, 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 really good palette, y'all. It's definitely worth the money. I'm actually going to go buy another one because I don't want them to run out. I might go buy two more. I'm one of those makeup people that love to stock up, especially when something's super good. Like, if it's not broken, do not fix it. I'm one of them. So I will constantly use that product unless I just want to try something new because something came out. But, yeah, I need about two of these. Now, I know that the concealer has been out a long time, so... Yeah, but it's my holy grail. I just found it, y'all. Period. Okay. But anyway, so I'm still going in, outlining the eyebrows. I'm still filling in, trying to get them as perfect and as sleek as possible. So, you know, you see me going over this palette like a million times. Just because I definitely want them to look super defined. I love defined eyebrows. I don't like the squiggly eyebrows. I don't like when, like, they're like, I don't know. I guess more natural looking. I guess that's, that's the wave. But I just love that fresh, I just got my eyebrows done, like a fresh wax. That's kind of what the concealer is doing right now. It gives you that I just got my eyebrows done look. So that's the whole point of going back in and defining them and putting that concealer around. Okay, so we're moving on. So right now I'm taking another color in the uh, concealer palette and putting that on as a eyeshadow base. You don't have to do this, but I kind of like my eyebrows, I'm sorry, eyebrows. I kind of like my eyelids to um, kind of be one color so I like that and then I also just go ahead under the eye and put my concealer on in there now for me I don't add foundation um, under the eyes and stuff I just simply put the concealer on and I'll put foundation around the areas that I put the concealer on because it's already kind of like pretty a little bright so there's no need for that okay so now I'm using my Marc Jacobs setting powder to go ahead and set the eyebrows I'm sorry, to set the eyelids and underneath the eye. Then I went ahead and put some spray on there. So let's get into what we came here for, the eyeshadow, baby. So I'm using my Gingerbread Spicy Palette. It's the number two version. So nice. Um, I don't know exactly what color I'm using. So we're we going to have to get, we're going to have to do better at that, right? Putting the colors here. I'm going to have to write this down before I do a voiceover. So future references, I don't know exactly, but that's the spice palette that I'm using. Um, but let me just let me just kind of explain what I do with eyeshadow in general. So eyeshadow, I do two things here. Um, well, three. I definitely start with a light color, a medium color, and then I go in with a darker color. So as you can see, I already put my light color on there, my medium, and I'm going in with a darker color. Okay. And we're just adding more and more to get that good pigmentation. Because I like mine's really dark because you're going to cut that crease anyway. And it's going to take away from the eyeshadow. So I always go in and make it kind of dark and a little bit heavy. So I'm using a lot of blending, y'all. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of blending. Blending is your friend. It is okay. Blend for your life. Blend for your life. Okay. So I'm also using the Gingerbread Spice Palette too. So it's both of them. They had two of these by uh, Too Faced. Love Too Faced product. Shout out to Too Faced. Send me some product, y'all. Because I love Too Faced. Period. Too Faced is so good. Okay. So I'm just going in with a few colors in there. And I just really wanted like a cranberry. 
I wanted like a Thanksgiving plate on my face, okay? That's what I wanted. I wanted like some turkey, some dressing, and some cranberry sauce. That's what I wanted. That was kind of my motivation here. So you can say what you want to say, but we want that Thanksgiving plate. But it just kind of looks like when we went from turkey and dressing and went straight over to the cranberry sauce and it just became more cranberry. <laughs> so you see me going back in with another color. I'm also using my um, Charles, James Charles, yeah, James Charles palette here. And I'm going in with some more color just to deepen it up a little bit more. And also in between there, when you're deepening it up, don't forget to blend out those harsh lines between your eyebrow bone and the actual, um, you know, eyeshadow itself, okay? Don't forget to blend that out. It's important. Blend, 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 baby, blend. Okay, let's get back to what we're talking about. All right, so now what I'm doing is cutting that crease. I'm doing a half cut crease here. I do not like to do a full cut crease because all of that hard work of putting that darker color on my outer corners, I want you to see that. So we're not going to do the full cut crease. So I always do a half cut crease. Okay, so as you see, I'm using my MAC concealer again to give me that cut crease. Um, I, I kind of go over this like a million times. I'm pretty sure there's a better product to get this without doing what I did. But I, like I said, if I feel like it's not a hassle for me, I'm going to keep doing it. So you guys can give me some tips or tell me something that may be a little bit better or easier. So definitely kudos on that, okay? So what I'm doing is I done went ahead and carved out how much and how I kind of want the um, cut crease to look. So then I'm going in and kind of filling in the spot where I'm going to apply that eyeshadow. So you see me right there kind of going back in and adding more concealer right to where I cut the crease and just, you know, kind of defining this cut crease part. And I'm going to soon, shortly, <laughs> put some eyeshadow right there. But I'm probably, okay, yeah, there we go. We're going back to the palette now. And I'm putting that goldish color on there. Y'all, I'm really going to do better with the names. I'm going to start having the palette with me. I promise. Don't worry. Voiceovers will be much, much, much better in the future. First makeup tutorial video, so bear with me, all right? Anyways, so we're putting that goldish color right there. Okay, you see my best friend back. I'm sorry, girl. I thought I was going to cut you out. It didn't work out. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so you see me applying that gold color on there and really just giving it a lot of pop, 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 okay? And I'm still applying. And I'm think I, I think I ended up using like three or four different golds on this gold because I, I just couldn't get exactly what I wanted. And then I'm also going back in and deepening up those um, outer corners again with a, um, I don't know, I think that's like a cranberry sauce color. <laughs> look, y'all, I, I look, I'm new to the game. I don't know how to record and tell y'all what to do, but I promise my videos will get better if you hang with me. Be loyal. Be loyal. Hang with me and I will get better. I promise. But you can see the colors. I mean, you may not have this exact color at home, but just kind of follow what we're doing here. So I did go in with another color to kind of lighten that up because I was getting like that real gold effect. I felt like I was at the Lakers, okay? Yeah, you know, that's a good way to say this. I, I could be at the Lakers, okay? So as you see, I'm kind of going in with my Sigma brush here and kind of just blending out, trying to get those harsh lines out the way because I felt like there was no gradients between the eyebrow and the actual eye shadow. So that's kind of what I was doing in there, trying to, you know, fade that out and make it blend a little better. So we're still going and doing that. Like I said, blending is your friend. And if you feel like something's a little off or a little darker, just try to fix it and, and match your eyebrows up as pop. Match them, not eyebrows, I'm sorry. Match your eyelids up as close as possible. Look, people, everybody know one side of your face is a little different than the other. So just bear with yourself and do the best you can. That's all you can do, okay? So I'm going back in and just going back on that um, concealer under my eye. As you can see, I'm going ahead and applying a little bit more um, just to give it a more in-depth look because now it's kind of got drowned out. Probably some eyeshadow fell on it or something, and it just didn't look as bright as it did before. Okay, so I'm going in here on my eyeliner to do this eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner is your friend. I feel like if you get a felt tip eyeliner, it definitely um, helps you out. Um, it gets more control. I personally like the felt tip liquid eyeliners. Um, I do see a lot of people using the gel eyeliners. Those are good too. Those are good too. No problem there, okay? Definitely good. So, yeah, we're going to move on to some more stuff here. But, yeah, take your time with your, with your eyeliner. It's hard to do. Mine's never look identical to the other side. Absolutely never. But who cares about that? You're not even going to see all of that 
when we're freaking um I'm about to put those stupid eyelashes on anyway. So if it's not identical, don't worry about it. Yeah, you see me going crazy trying to get them the same. Ooh, I hate eyeliner. I ain't lying to y'all. I really hate eyeliner. It's the worst part of the face for me. Like, ugh, it's so annoying. So then I'm going back in one more time just with those outer corners to make sure they were a little deep. And as you saw, going back in there, going back under the eye again, all of that. But if you do this in the right order, you won't have to constantly keep redoing things. So I think I was a little bit nervous since this is my first makeup tutorial. And I think I ended up kind of going over the same spots again because I was doing them out of order than I typically do. So, yeah. Yeah. Go figure. So, I lost something here. This is the part where I said I wish I knew how to edit real good. I, I dropped my eyelashes or something. Lost something. I was trying to find it. Something fell to the ground. So, I'm taking my little mink eyelashes. I think these are 25s. I actually sell these. $6, people. $6. Inquire about those. Okay. Um... So, that, I'm taking my eyelash glue here, and I'm just going to let it sit on there and dry. I like my eyelashes to get a little tacky. That's what you want, a little tacky before you put them on. Okay, like, sister, stop with the concealer. Why do you keep redoing this concealer? I don't know why I kept doing it. I, I really think it was losing its um, color. Because <laughs> I, I feel like even watching it, it looks like it was losing a little luster here. But I went back over that concealer. You don't have to do that, I promise. You don't have to keep doing that. If it's already perfect, just leave it. <laughs> But I think I was either getting some fallout or it just wasn't as bright. So I, I know this one. I'm using my Bobbi Brown. That's the col uh, color golden. And it's in um, number six, okay? And what I do is put that around. I'm using my foundation brush by um, Real Techniques. And I put that around the concealer, okay? Yeah, I'm just jumping back and forth. I, I kid you not. So I'm putting my eyelashes on because you don't want them to get too dried out, too tacky where they don't stick. Um, you don't want to do that. So I blow on them a little bit and I just put them as close as possible. Use my little mirror and ooh, voila. I mean, come on. Ain't she giving you life when, when she put the eyelashes on, baby? Like, listen, listen. I'm giving real life right now with them eyelashes. I don't care what y'all say. I love it. Oh, so I'm taking my um, Lancome uh, concealer. I mean, I'm sorry. Lancome mascara right now and just blending out my actual eyelashes with the falsies. Okay, now back to what we were doing. We was putting that foundation on there, and I put it around. I do not put it over my concealer. I don't. I want it to look less cakey as possible. And, I mean, you can still get a non-cakey effect with doing that, but just for my skin tone and just for me personally and just kind of like how I like to do makeup, I just don't want to do that. So I'll do my concealer first, and then I'll put the foundation in the other areas where I didn't put concealer because it's already kind of like a, a brighting, bright, concealer and contouring that's what we're gonna be doing so <laughs> so then I'm going back and kind of just getting my nose going at the um the bridge of my nose my forehead and getting a little bit of that chin in there so we're still going back and highlighting and I think I had a I think I did put foundation on those areas too no I didn't okay I didn't I don't know so yeah so now we're going in and we're going to I don't bake y'all I'm gonna be honest with you I don't bake but since this is all like a creamy foundation and creamy um, concealer, I went ahead and put some, um, what was that? I think that was Fenty. That was my Fenty uh, powder under there. And now I'm going back in with my Marc Jacobs powder to kind of go back over my highlight. I do feel like the Fenty one's a little darker, so yeah. Oh, I forgot to put a little shimmy on the brow bone, so I went in and did that too. <laughs> like real quick. I was like, oh yeah, we're missing something. Put that shimmy in there, baby. Put the shimmy in there. So I did that. I did that. Yes, I did. All right. So we're going back. And I'm using my Cover Fix. I do remember that. I'm using my Cover Fix powder to kind of go back and set it again. Kind of give it that uh, fading gradient effect from my highlight to my foundation. And just kind of give it a cool little effect. You know, give it that matte, but not too matte. You know what I mean? So now we're going in also with the um, concealer palette by MAC, and I'm using the more darker shade to give that contour. Now, I like to go a little bit up on the contour because I want my face to look as slim as possible, so you kind of see me going up towards that cheekbone. And I like to get that um, get that jawline, get those sides, because we're pulling the face in, baby. We're trying to look slim and trim, slim and trim. That's what we're doing, okay? We're trying to elongate that face, period. So... I do pull it up a little bit further than normal. And I do do a slight contour, nothing too drastic, because I don't really want to change the shape of my nose. 
So you're going to see me kind of do take a little bit of what was left over of the brush to kind of contour the nose. And then I go back over with my brush that um, that I use to actually for setting powder. And I go back over that again to kind of blend that out. Now I'm also using my Sephora contour palette to go back over that, um, what was that, cream concealer by the MAC. Just so it can give it a more photo finish ready look. Um, more finish and more matte looking. And I don't know, it's just something about that cream. That's a really good cream to blend because I've had other cream products and it just don't give me life like that. It just don't, okay? So now we're using a little bit of Jeffree Star. And Jeffree Star's, uh, I'm sorry, Conspiracy Palette um, actually has other colors in there that I use for other things other than eyeshadow. As you saw, I use that to uh, make me some blush. Then I went in with the Jawbreaker, I think that's the one, um, highlights to give me that nice, beautiful highlight. Like, look at that highlight, baby. Look at that. Like, what are we talking about, baby? That highlight fire. Now, Jeffree Star, I'm a little annoyed with you because I like you, your personality, but I don't, I don't know if you like me. But <laughs> I'm really, I really love your products. It's really good stuff. So I'm a little pissed off at you right now. But anyway, let's move it on. Um, so yeah, I went in there and I used that and now I'm going back with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette here. I believe that's the prism palette and I'm taking that green just to go underneath the eye to give it a pop because everything I'm doing right now is purple and green. Okay, so I was just like, yeah, my nails purple and green. Let's put a little green under there. So I went in with that. Then I went back with my James Charles palette and found a green in there to try to brighten it up because for some reason that other lime green was just not giving me the vibes that I wanted. Okay, it just was not. So I'm literally going back in again and just adding that in there. I'm super excited, y'all. I'm listening to my music. Like, it's hot girl. Hot girl winner. Fat girl fall. It's fat girl fall. So we was, we was doing the most. Now I'm going back in with the Lancome mascara again. And I was just kind of adding some definition to underneath my eyes, giving those, those little eyelashes some life down there. I really hate when, like, girls put the falsies on top and don't put, don't put nothing on those bottom lashes. It's like, how can we really believe that it's real? If you ain't got nothing on the bottom lashes, okay? So after we do that, I went ahead and sprayed my Marc Jacobs and I think another um, setting spray on top just so we can lock all of this in. You don't want your work to just melt off and go to waste, okay? So now I'm taking my, um, what is this, lip pencil? I'm taking my lip pencil and I'm like just going over my uh, lips, outlining them, giving them a more fuller and bigger look when you outline them. Now you can over outline to make your lips look bigger. Everybody can't afford no lip injection, so I don't want no lips super big all the time when I don't got makeup on. I only like it when I got makeup on, okay? So, I know what color this is. I'm using my Jeffree Star mini, um, um, I don't know, mini lipstick palette thing, and that's the Matrix, the Demi Dominatrix, I don't know how to say it, y'all, fuck it, I don't know. But I'm putting that on top there and just giving that a good little look. It's so cute. I'm just feeling like chocolate, baby, chocolate. Um, I'm going back over with that Cover Fix foundation. Just make sure everything still is blending and doing good. We're going back in a little bit on the eyebrows, y'all. Now y'all know my eyebrows is like the it's like the introduction to the face, so those got to be fire. So we're just going back in a little bit with that. But that's the end of the tutorial, y'all. We got it all done. Thank y'all for watching.